Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna... I'm gonna show you the code that I created for a uh, camera app. Basically all this app does is that it takes pictures of a... of a... Um, something like a... like a page and then reads the text out of that image and then you can just do whatever you want with the text. The code is very simple. It's like under 100 line. I can't show it on the simulator because it's gonna crash when I try to open the camera in the simulator because you know it's a simulator. It doesn't have a camera. You know, it doesn't even have a backside. So I'll just show you on my actual physical phone how that looks like. Okay, so I got my phone. Sorry for the mess. I got my app right here, right? And this is. I'm gonna just use a page out of this book for testing this. So. I'll just take a picture of it and then here it's asking me to use this photo and I'll just do use photo and then it scans the text in the photo and here it is it creates an array with the text in the photo and then it just displays it in the app let's try that again retake photo take another page there you go This is what it looks like. Well, the accuracy of the text is going to depend on how um, how clear the image is and how focused your camera is. But uh, it captures it with a pretty good accuracy, really, if you try your best to uh, to take a good picture. Wait a second, so what's exactly happening in here in this code? So it's on under 100 line, pretty straightforward. Actually, if you remove the preview over here, which we don't need, it will be under 86 line. I only need three variables, image taken, which serves as a, um, a state variable that stores the image that was taken, the data for it, but it also serves as a switch. What do you mean by a switch? I mean, if it's nil, if it's nil which is the initial state, it will show you the camera. But if image taken is not nil, which means there's image data that's been already stored after you took a picture, then it will show you the picture taken view, which which is a view that renders the image. And it will also show you a button that says, uh, do you want to retake the photo? So it shows you that and the list of the text that were recognized from that image that was taken using the camera. So. Image taken in terms of a switch, a switch, uh, recognized text is an array of the text that were recognized from the image. So notice here something. In picture taken view, I use its appearance as a trigger to trigger the, uh, the method that will recognize the text in the image. So I take the picture. Now this is not nil anymore. It has an image data in it. And then I go over here and recognize card text. And then I pass that image to the vision library over here via an image request handler and this goes ahead and recognizes the text that uh, that were found in this image and then loops through them and when you loop through them you can append every recognized text to this array and then display it to the user just like how we do it in here and this is the camera view class. This is one of those this is one of those unfortunate uh, instances where you need to work with UI kit, but it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta make sure you pass your image state variable to it, like how I'm doing, like how I'm doing here. I'm passing my image state variable, and here it gets written into it, and that happens exactly here. In make UI view controller, you can control more things about this uh, camera view so I can do view controller I can do allow editing false or I can do flash mode and I can just do uh, off turn off the flash by default now this image gets stored here and here I can manipulate the image that I've t that I'm taking I can change things about it if I want to in my case I've decided to always ensure that the image is going to be in landscape ratio so I always wanted I always want the width of the image is more than the height so it looks like a rectangle and that's what I'm doing here I just crop the if the if the height is more than the width which means that it's vertical I crop the image to be horizontal again 
and I do this using this extension but the coolest part about all of this is what happens here especially here this is where all the magic happens so for example if you want to recognize things about the text that you just scanned you'll do it right here and I'll show you an example let's say I have a uh, contact card and I want to recognize email addresses in that contact card so here instead of just adding the text as it is I'm gonna create a condition I'm gonna say if recognize text contains at then I will add the text otherwise I'm not gonna add it so I'll just do contains actually without the where just as it is and here I'll say if it contains an ad just add it now let's run this I want to show you what it looks like when you actually test it I'm gonna try it with this card the business card that uh, that I found okay don't worry about who it belongs to I'll just say thanks to them okay here's a here's a test business card and I'm gonna try to scan it with my app I'll take a picture of it and then I could do use photo and now because the email is the only string in the tech in the in the business card that has a uh, ad in it it recognized the email let's try another one here's another example this one is tougher because the font is smaller but it did recognize the email as well so just looking for the at in a string is an effective way of uh, recognizing the email cool well we can do something more interesting than just recognizing emails and maybe a little bit uh, a little bit a, a little trickier so let me ask you a question what do you uh, what did you notice that is consistent on uh, the phone numbers of both business cards that I just showed you for example this one for example the phone number here and the phone number here what do you notice what's consistent in both of them other than the numbers this is zoomed a little too close sorry about that <laughs> But what you'll notice that it's consistent between the two of them is uh, the plus. So I think the plus is a good way to recognize if this is a phone number or not. Plus, beside the numbers, plus would be a good way. Why? Because addresses can have numbers, but addresses can have pluses. So pluses are a good way to recognize that this is a number. Now we can just handle that in the code the same way we handle the app. So we can do the following. If recognize text contains plus add it let's try that out again this is a business card and I'm gonna go to ahead and take a picture of it and then when I use the photo now I get both the emails and the email and the numbers but I also get the uh, uh, the title over here because in this business card, um, for some reason, they put plus next to the architect design. I don't know why that is, but it's um, really screwed up my logic. Anyways, I still got the numbers though. So let's try Let's see what happens with another business card. A reasonable business card. Here. This is the other one. Just take a picture of it. And I'll use this photo instead. See what I got. Now this one worked nicely i got the numbers and the email i didn't get anything weird next to it uh so most cases will be just like this business card and that's it hopefully this video was useful the intention of this video was really to show you the basics of using the camera to uh, take a picture and then recognizing text in that picture if you want to or just take a picture uh i guess i could create a card scanner tutorial video in the future later uh, but this is the basic idea. The basic idea is still the same is that you just um, add the rules for recognizing the text in the observations um, after you take the image and that's pretty much it. Anyways, hope that was helpful and if you liked the video please like and subscribe and comment on the channel. Feel free to ask any questions you'd like to ask and if you'd like to the full source code for this project uh, subscribe to my Patreon in the description below. It supports the channel. And you also get this project right away instead of having to build it from the scratch. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Take care.